Hello. Can cloth fall onto cloth? Yes, it can. Let's create a sphere. That's the collision object. Press the key F to jump to that selected object. Now we um, create a plane. And the plane is in the center of the scene. Let's move it up. And here in the attribute editor, under polyplane 1, we change a few of the basic settings. Make it just a little bit larger. And for cloth, we need lots and lots of subdivisions. We could use even more, but this is just fine. 50 by 50. Next thing, we create a disk and move it up as well. This is our second piece of cloth. Not yet, but it will be in a second. Um, we go to polydisk 1. And here we can change the sides, actually. It's quite interesting. Um, we can also go to, say, uh, triangles. So it's a triangle object now. We can increase the sides to 7. And the subdivisions is a very critical value. If you raise it here, Maya has to think a little bit about it. So we have 8 subdivisions. And we'll increase the size, the radius, like this. Maybe like this. Even more subdivisions. Let's go to 12. If you type in 50, for example, Maya will crash or take ages to calculate it. OK, so this is fine now. Uh, shaders. So we're ready for cloth now. We want to let the two planes here, the disk and the plane, fall onto the sphere. Okay, we go from modeling or wherever you are to FX because it's a special effects thing and here you have the end cloth section. So let's select the disk first and go to end cloth and create end cloth. It's a second entry in that menu set here. End cloth is created. I do the same thing with the next one, create end cloth. And I select the sphere and I create a passive collider. That means it participates in the dynamic simulation, but it doesn't move or even if you push it in a certain direction, it won't. It will always sit there, but it uh, will be felt by the other materials. So let's run the simulation here. That's cloth on cloth. So uh, let's introduce a light now, a sky dome light, and render it. What would be nice now is to give the surfaces, the cloth, different kinds of materials. And you can easily do that. Let's, for example, pick this uh, the square plane and here under end cloth shape 2 in this case you have a preset and click on the preset well we can go to well silk for example and we replace that material by silk so it's much more slippery uh, so does this change our animation it sure does you see the blue cloth behaves totally differently from before. And it takes longer to evaluate. And the two kinds of cloth now totally look totally different because this is silk and this is just a standard material. Let's change this material, go into presets and go to t-shirt for example and replace it by a, it's basically a cotton texture or simulation. And I render this scene and I say, have a good day. Bye-bye.